You might be surprised to know that data can also help influence your pricing and promotional plans. Pricing is super important. It's about your brand perception. Are you cheap or are you luxury? And for a lot of small businesses, we haven't got the buying power to be at the cheap end or the discounter end. So we have to be more boutique, more luxury. In fact, I love the tagline of Stella Artois, reassuringly expensive, because a lot of people actually trust a product when it's a little higher priced, they assume it has higher product value. The other key thing I say to small businesses, and they must remember this, is you cannot compete on price, but you can compete on service because you're the one that can build the relationship with the customer. You're part of the local community. So don't get hung up on pricing yourself too cheaply. You can test pricing though. You can increase prices ever so slightly on products and then measure the sales performance in your data to see if it materially drops demand. And if not, great, it's all extra profit. Obviously, you can't be too flexible with prices where there's a known RRP on a branded item because people can know the prices by searching. But on your own brand type items or more boutique items, you can. Another price strategy used by a lot of retailers is called good, better, best. And quite simply, you have products that are good to the customer, better and best with associated price points and you can flex the gaps between those price points to influence the customers between the products and you can analyze if it has a positive or a negative impact using your electronic point of sale data. Then we look at promotions and in many ways they're easier to understand with your electronic point of sale data because you can set targets. If you have an element of stock that you want to clear, your objective is to clear the stock in two weeks. So you set a 50% discount and on a daily basis, you can monitor how quickly you're selling through. If it's going too slow, you increase the discount. Too fast, you reduce it. You can also use promotions to spotlight products and you can see if there's a sales uplift just by putting it in a window or in a front of store position or on an aisle end. So lots of techniques can be used to determine the effectiveness of promotions by simply watching sales performance data. It is important to set promotional objectives though, because ultimately, if you are discounting or making a bundle deal, you may find that you're giving away margin unnecessarily and your data will tell you the answer to that. So keep an eye on it and happy promoting.